Welcome. It's the 21st of December 2022, the winter solstice. So I created this recording to help us to remember that not just today being the longest night and the shortest day, but personally to me, it's a reminder that um, after today, there will be more light. I've always found it um, a little bit weird that the peak of light is in June. And, and then after that, after midsummer, after the 21st of June, it starts to, it starts to recede and it starts to get less. And I've always thought, mm, why does it occur right in the middle of the year? And this is having come from an equatorial climate where we have 12 hours of day and 12 hours of, of night. And it's practically the same all the way through. Um, and the things which mark whatever seasons we have is whether there's a lot of rain and it's very wet or we have our dry seasons. And I was just thinking of that today. Um, and why winter solstice is something which is celebrated and has been celebrated for a long, 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 long time before Christianity or other um, of those established um, current religions, I suppose. And um, it is really a celebration of light and a celebration of, re of the return of the light. So, and the dark also, and, and June the 21st is a celebration of the peak of light. But um, we also need to, well, I also need to remember that there is function in darkness too. We have to sleep and we have to rest. And the ground and the trees also need a bit of rest. And in this climate where you have four seasons, it does help to curb lots of parasites when you have um, a strong enough winter. And we've certainly had it quite cold here in, the, in South England over the past few weeks with snow and temperatures dropping below zero degrees in the early mornings of, of the early, yeah, in the early hours of the morning. Um, and so it's it's been it's been lovely having that because it's been like forced rest in a way. Couldn't really do any gardening because it's um, so the soil is just so hard. Even though I've got lots of bulbs which arrive late and are waiting to go in. So this is just a session to personally to help me remember that when I feel low um, in the winter months and when it's dark, that there, there is a call then to reconnect with whatever's going on in, inside, like my emotions and my thoughts, because I am prone to depression as well. And also to remember that by doing so, I also reconnect to my source of energy inside. Um, you can call it light, starlight, bar energy, your your life, your your um, life force as well, and uh, whatever sounds right for you. Yeah, you know, there's no right or wrong way in how you describe that sort of spark of life which helps you to have purpose and to have passion for whatever you want to do, how you want to live. So this is, I hope, and that's my intention. So just a bit of sounding with the ball and I might do some sounding with voice and, um, and I have another chime. And if you feel like you need to get up and move and shake, that's absolutely fine. And if we do, if I do some sounding, please 
join in as well if you feel it's going to help um, to help you release things stuck energy or stuck thoughts or stuck, stuck emotions in parts of the body um, and I find that that happens that happens a lot in the body we do we do store a lot of things in the body and um, when we scrunch up the muscles get knotted and I find that when they get unknotted I find that emotions get released as well so if you need to jump up and down please do um, if you want to really jump up and down then listen to the previous um, YouTube video called release that's supposed to really help us to to move and and to sound and even if you just listen and you hum as well it will help that energy to start moving and at another level in the physical level will help with all your lymph as well okay and the jumping up and down is quite good for your heart um, and uh, and it does feel really good after doing that um, because you you find that then contrasting when you if you when you sit again just to listen I find that it really helps me to connect with 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 stillness and I find that that the stillness within is much easier to to get to okay so so I ask for the Archangel Mikhail and all his legions of angels to create golden violet diamond domes of transmutation for all of us around our space around our homes all the way down to the core of the planet all the way up into sky and space allowing the domes to become spheres of protection and transmutation Okay, so you can keep your eyes open or you can close them. If you feel inclined to sound, to sing, please go ahead. It's a creative process as well. And this is something which you can, you can use this sound to co-create, to create a state for yourself where you can go deep within to find your own light to find that source of energy find that beautiful star within
So we're basically going to sound the chakras and these are using vowels, vowel sounds and these were these sounds I have taken from Stuart Pierce's work namely his CD called Initiation so the sound for the root chakra the one which I use for the earth stars is something that I found worked well for me and you may find a different consonant perhaps and vowel and I would go with your guidance but this is the consonant and vowel sounds for the chakras now are from Stuart Pierce's work and for the root it is ho ho so clench your pelvic floor muscle straighten your back ho If you feel you need to sound them more than three times, go ahead. And just connect to the base of your spine, your perineum. And for the sacral chakra, the sound is who. So we just move up a semitone or a tone. It doesn't matter if it's not exactly after. And just feel that area, connect to it. It's ha. 
And yes, if you have burps <coughs> and farts, that's energy moving. Which is a good sign. So you may want to just extend your consciousness forwards, backwards, to the right to your left. Feel yourself as a sphere of consciousness extending beyond your body, a circle of consciousness and extend it upwards from the heart and extend it downwards as well. And those six directions, feel them all together at once and this is you as a sphere of consciousness you are more than just your physical body your consciousness doesn't just stop under your skin it extends and the possibilities and the potential when we truly understand this are mind-blowing because <clears throat> what are the other possibilities and other connections and communication can, which can be made beyond just the spoken word and the heard word because yeah, communication goes both ways Be free of suffering. May all beings experience unconditional love and acceptance. May we all be free of judgment and limiting beliefs and thoughts. May we all experience peace, wisdom, understanding, joy, ecstasy and bliss. May all beings thrive. May there be an end to all suffering. And that is my hope for all of you and for myself this winter solstice so thank you very much for joining me and I hope you have a marvellous Christmas marvellous new year opportunity for connection with family opportunity to celebrate to enjoy good food good company and <clears throat> Enjoy our animal companions too, their family too. So thank you. And so we just close the space. And from you who are sensitive, you may want to retract your energy. Disconnect completely 
from this recording and from the energies of this, this recording I mean you, you will still receive the benefits and the benefits if you allow them will continue to help you but for the time being we disconnect from this space and we thank all the light beings who've been here supporting the creation of this video and the energy here and we ask that they return from whence they came but knowing full well they're always with us oh, so thank you for spending time watching this and let's allow ourselves to be grounded fully back in our space and our bodies Have a wonderful solstice, have a wonderful Christmas, have a wonderful new year and a brilliant start to 2023, just going to be absolutely amazing, glorious and fun, love filled for all of us. Thank you. Goodbye for now.